What's up everybody, Ryan with CPP Tech. How are you guys doing today? We're going to talk about DirecTV's Broadband DECA. So for a little bit I've been trying to figure out ways to get internet into another room without running an ethernet cable, because sometimes you can't. So let's say you have a house that's all drywalled and everything and you just can't get an ethernet cable to that one room, or let's say you have a dead spot in your room for the Wi-Fi and you're trying to get internet into that room or just even to that side of the house, right? Well, here's the solution. Uh, DirecTV uses this on their systems. Um, I'm not a DirecTV guy, so I don't really know exactly how they use this. I know they use this on their internet stuff and they use this for their systems. So, all right, so just to let you know, these are only rated for up to 100 megs, okay? You may get a little bit less than that, uh, but what we're going to do today is I got a, a 10 foot cable here. I'm going to hook up and show you how it links up. And then we're going to see what the speeds are from that 10 foot. And then we're going to go to 100 feet, which is the max of, of this being rated. And then we're actually going to go farther than that at 200 feet or 300 feet, depending on what I got laying around the house, and see if after that 150 feet, if there's any kind of deg degradation as far as speeds are concerned uh, whenever you're using this. So, uh, it's a great option for you. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to grab this cable and then we're going to hook it up. There's actually some lights on here that blink and then actually go solid whenever it links up. So let's grab this cable real quick and we'll hook all this stuff up and see where it goes from there. And then we'll hook it up to the computer and run some speed tests. I'll run a speed test directly on what, see what my speeds are through my regular network with the ethernet and then go on from there. All right, so you got your two pieces of cable, your, your ends of cable. You have, you have the one by your by your router and then the one on the other side of the room, wherever you're wanting to have it in the room or in the other room. So you're just basically going to hook them up to both the RF parts on the, on the device. And then we need to power it up too. So as soon as it powers up, there'll be lights on here. All right, so now that you got your coax connected to both sides of the devices, what you're gonna wanna do is actually take the, the line, the ethernet line going from your router and plug it into here. And then you'll plug in the one side and then you'll plug in the other side. And then once you plug them both in, these lights will come on and they'll flash for a minute and then it'll end up syncing up. You'll get a green light here and a green light here where these two amber lights are on. There's green, yay, we're green. So now what you're gonna do, so this one's hooked up to your router and then, or switch. And this one here is by your device that you want the internet on, whether it be a computer, your internet, or your, your, your internet, your computer, your uh, TV, another, another switch, or what have you. Then you just plug it into this one. And then you plug it into this one. And then put that in on your switch, computer, access point, or another router in the house if your dead spot's over there. You're good to go. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna take all this and hook it up to one of these computers I got sitting here and we'll run a speed test on my network for the ethernet regular to see what we have on speeds and we'll run another speed test on this and then I'll go grab some more cable and do the footage there and see how long it is. And I'll put, every speed test I'll put, I'll put like, you know, 10 feet, 100 feet, 150 feet, 200 feet, so on and so forth. So just to see how how slow it gets through to the length of the cable. So anyway, let's go over there. All right, so we're gonna actually run a speed test on my network just to see what my speeds are through the ethernet cables. And then we're gonna go ahead and go over this DirecTV DECA and see what we are on the cable, all right? so. Let's go ahead and roll over here and run a speed test just to see what we're starting out with. We already know that there's a minimum of, or a maximum of 
100 mags on this DECA, so therefore we already know we're not going to get anything faster than 100 mags on that cable wire. But 100 mags is still good, so let's go ahead and get over here and run the speed test on my network and see, just see where we're starting out at. So zero ping and 200 and 249, 48, 248, 249, 249 down. All right, 249 down, and then let's see what our upload is. So our upload is going to be at 242, 244, 5, 6, push it, push it, 7. Come on, 8, 248.65. All right, so we're downloading at 249 and uploading at 248 to start out with. Let's go ahead and hook up this cable real quick and, and this DECA and see what we got going on with that. All right, guys, so I actually set up 500 foot of cable to test this. So here's a 500 foot of cable running all the way to here, and then it's hooked up to the Undertaker. That's what we named that PC. And... Uh, we're actually going to run a speed test on it and um, see where we're at. Figure we start with 500 and if there's any kind of slowness of speed versus the, the, the 10 foot cable, um, then we'll keep going down from there. But let's take a look and see what we have on this one. So we'll go ahead and press go on the speed test and see what we get. There's four ping. All right, so there's 92, 93, 94, 94, 94 on the down. Wow. Okay, well, blowing at 150 feet minimum or maximum on that already. So now our upload is pushing 90, pushing 91, 92, 93, 94, 94, 93, ooh, wow, man. Push 94, 94, 94 megs. All right, so yeah, 94 megs on 500 foot cable. Do I even need to test anymore? If it's going to be 94 on on uh, 500 feet, it's going to be 94 on 10 feet because it's ma a, a maximum of of 100 megs anyway on on this device. So we already know it's not going to go any faster than 100. So I guess uh, I guess that takes care of that. All right, guys. So there's my take on the Direct TV broadband Deca. Uh, pretty impressive. I picked these up on Amazon for 25 bucks. But if you have them lying around the house, these are going to be really good and useful for you, especially if you run into that predicament. Um, like I said, though, the the maximum uh, speed you're going to get out of it is close to 100. You saw I got 94 down, 94 up for, for, for my system. Uh, that's about the norm. There is a device called Comtrend. Uh, it's a uh, power line and whatnot. And the maximum, or the maximum is uh, 1,200 megs, which is you know 1.2 gigs. So... But that's a hundred dollars. So therefore, I mean, if you're needing all you know all the speed that's coming out of your uh, modem from your ISP, well then yeah, that would be the way to go. But this is twenty five bucks. So uh, for the price and to get something into your room that you have coax in but you can't get Ethernet to, great alternative. Great alternative. Um, I'm impressed. I wish I'd known these existed you know, a while ago, but I know now, and that's why I'm making this video to inform you guys, if you guys didn't know, and just to give you another alternative besides trying to snake or fish or what have you, an ethernet cable to another room. So anyway, if you like this video, do me a favor, throw a like, a subscribe, uh, share it, and let me know what you think about it. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you and bye-bye now. See you next 